direct factory office selling and distribution before we start we have to bifurcate which comes under first second third fourth chargeable expenses in the sense direct expenses what is carriage outward transportation from selling price you minus your total cost you will get your profit A warm welcome to everyone. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are in the session two, unit two of your cost accounting, the topic called cost sheet. Now, in the previous session, what we discussed actually, we discussed about the cost sheet format. The cost sheet format, as I told you, it is a very lengthy, but in your examination, they will not ask you the complete cost sheet. In your problem, whatever cost sheet format I have given, your actual question paper problem will be half of your format. Because in the factory overhead, I have given you 10 items. Office and administration, I have given 10. Selling and distribution, I have given 10 to 12 items. But in your examination, they may ask you maximum three to four items in each category. Now, what we are going to do in today's session? Your agenda is very simple, problems on cost sheet. Today we'll do only one problem on cost sheet so that we'll understand what is actual cost sheet problems. Now, so this is actual 10 mark problem. In your examination, you will get 15 mark problem on cost sheet. The first problem I have taken completely basic problem actually. In the basic problem, how do we calculate? How do you go with this problem? Now, hope you have not seen the session one of unit two. Please go back, watch that session one so that you will understand what I am doing. Today. Unless and until you have not watched session one, you will under you will not understand the cost sheet format. Please go back, watch again, come back and watch this video. Now, from the following particulars, prepare a statement of cost for the month of October 2016. Now, as per this direct material, as per this direct material, we have 70,000. Then productive wages 54,000. Chargeable expenses 26,000. Depreciation on plant and machinery as well as office building 4,500, 2,750. Office building, factory building. These are the rent paid. Salaries 5,800. General expenses 1,200. Carriage outward salesman commission. Indirect wages, advertisement as well as sales. These are the information right now we have. Now, before I go to problem, I'll bifurcate. As I told you, there are four steps are there. Direct, factory, office, Selling and distribution. Before we start, we have to bifurcate which comes under first, second, third, fourth. Clear? Yes, I'll show you this. Now, in this, what is the first one? The first one is direct, like your prime cost. Second one is your factory overhead, factory overhead. Third one is office and administration overhead. Fourth one is selling and distribution. Selling and distribution overhead. Total how many heads are there? Four. First one direct, factory, office as well as selling and distribution overhead. Now as per this, as per this we will find out direct material comes under what? Step number one. I will make it as one. Productive wages, one. Chargeable expenses means direct expenses, one. Depreciation, they have given. Plant and machinery, office building. Where do we use machineries? In the factory. Where is the factory? Second one. So we go with second one. 
office building office building comes under what office and administration so i can call it as third one rent of office building again office the word office comes then it will go to where office factory building second one what is the second one second one is factory I hope it is easy if you have that format keep it with you so that you will understand better now salary salary have they given any information will check no information about salary so salary everything will goes to where your office office comes under what third one general expenses third office carriage outward remember carriage inward is direct carriage outward is what office carriage outward is what selling and distribution not office selling and distribution what is carriage outward transportation now there is a fourth one salesman commission where do we pay commission at the time of sales salesman commission will come for fourth one indirect wages direct wages goes to direct indirect wages will go to factory factory comes under what second one advertisement advertisement we do during what sales so it will be selling and distribution there is a total sales we have hope you are clear in your examination you are not supposed to write all these things on your question paper because you are not supposed to put even a single dot on your question paper now whatever the numbers are shortcuts i am using here unless and until until you learn you have to do this in your notebook once you learn once you are familiar with this concept then no need of this numbering and all by looking at that carriage outward goes to fourth one salary goes to second general expenses goes to sorry third like that you will understand but advertisement it go to fourth one selling if you do two or three problems it will be dead easy for you to do this cost sheet now now i'll we'll go to the answer see whatever i mentioned here i mentioned number 1 1 1 and is there anywhere no 1 2 3 total we have 3 items direct material direct wages chargeable chargeable expenses in the sense direct expenses now add all this you will get what prime cost 70000 plus 54 plus 26 if you add 120 140 150 One lakh fifty thousand will be called as your prime cost. Now, your prime cost is over works overhead. What is the works overhead? Remember, factory overhead. One more name is called as works overhead. Again, I'll repeat, factory overhead. One more name is called as works overhead. Now, factory overhead or works overhead, we take it as depreciation on plant and machinery. rent of factory building in direct wages again i'll repeat depreciation on plant and machinery rent of factory building in direct wages add everything if you add everything i'll go back again second one 1 2 3 total we have three items how much 4500 10500 And we have one thousand five hundred. See, four point five, ten point five, one point five. Add everything. Your prime cost plus this, you will get work cost. Step by step, we have to go. Prime cost is over. Work cost is over. What is the next one? Administration overhead. Now, administration overhead. We have third one. One, two, three. Four total. We have four items now. One, two, three, four. Add everything. You will get thirteen thousand one lakh sixty six plus thirteen. You will get one lakh seventy nine thousand five hundred. Hope you are getting 
Yes, like this only you are supposed to do in the beginning. Later, this marking, roundup, nothing is required. You can do it on your own. Now, your factory order is over. What is the last one? Selling and distribution overhead. Now, your selling and distribution order, what happens here? Fourth one. Fourth one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Total one, two, three. Total how many items we have? One, two, three. Total three items we have. Now, one, two, three. Add everything. You will get around 9,000. 179 plus 9,000. You will get 1 lakh 88, 500. What is your total cost? If you are a manufacturer, you have to do all this. You will get what is your total cost? Your total cost is 1 lakh 88, 500. What is your total cost? 1,88,500. What is your profit here? Now, what is your selling price? Your selling price is 2,16,000. 2,16,000 minus 1,88,500. That difference will be called as profit. Clear? Again, I'll repeat. You know your total cost, 1,88,500. You know your selling price, 2,16,000. From selling price, you minus your total cost, you will get your profit. 2,16,000 minus 1,88,500, you will get 27,500. Like this, you are supposed to do your cost sheet. Whatever I have taken, it is a simple problem. Maybe it is a 30 or 40 percent of your actual problem. Along with this, you will get some extra adjustments like opening stock of work in progress, closing stock of work in progress. And they have given only two to three items. There may be four or five items in each headings. So it is almost, I can say that 30 to 40 percent of your actual problem. Hope you are clear. I'll go back to all the slides so that you can take screenshot. This is your problem number one. These are your solution answer. Yes. Now, so we will understand your cost sheet clearly. Now, as I told you, what is the format? Just as a recap of your cost sheet format. Now, what is your cost sheet format? As I told you, the first thing, whatever we discussed in the previous session, just I'll give you gist of that session. Now, your cost sheet, cost sheet in this, your format will be like this. First thing will be what? Your first thing will be all direct material purchases. Opening stock of raw material plus carriage inward. If you add everything, raw material consumed, you will get. Add direct expenses, add wages or direct labor. If you add everything, you will get prime cost. Remember this format. In every examination, they will not give you everything. Maybe two or three items will be there. Like in this problem, what they have given? See, direct material given, yes. Wages given, yes. Direct expense given, yes. Now, material given, Expense given, wages given, carriage inward, open in stock, purchase, these things are not given. But different problem, you will get different type. Like you may get these things also. These are the whatever format I have given, that is a maximum adjustment. Other than that, you will not get anything. But in your examination, whatever format I have given, in that 60 to 70 percent, you will get it in the examination, whatever the extra 30%, I have given more for the safer side. Now, this is the first step. After that, what? Factory overhead, 
office and administration, selling and distribution, all put together, we call it as your cost sheet. Hope you are clear. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. It was a small session just to make you to understand what is cost sheet and how do we do the problem. In the next session, we'll go with the actual your question paper problem so that you will understand better what is cost sheet. Now, you understood what is a cost sheet format. You understood how the problems will come in your examination. Now, in the next session, we go with your exact examination problem. So, thank you.